morning. It's Monday, um, and I don't know which vlog this clip will end up in. Uh, you know what I do? I do know. Um, okay. So I wanted to do something this week, uh, early this week. Fuck me. Alright. <sighs> How's this week gone? <laughs> are these barrettes? I don't know if these are barrettes. I bought these things and I don't know if they're barrettes or clips, like for papers. I don't know. Anyway, um, I am exhausted, and you know why? Because <laughs> on top of everything else in my life, I am filming and editing a video a day, and I knew it would be a lot, and I am here for it. This is not a, oh my god, it's too much, I'm cancelling the project video. Not what this is at all. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on the seven videos so far. This will be the eighth one. Um, what I've learned and what I want to do going forward. Um, and yeah, I guess just my experience so far in the project. So let's get started. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use the time-lapse footage that I filmed on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, must have been Saturday. I think I'm gonna use the time-lapse footage that I filmed on Saturday uh, to be the backdrop to my remarks because I need a little moment to gather my thoughts. So, I'm gonna do my morning pages. The next thing you will see is a tree. So, the minute to gather my thoughts turned into many hours, but I am more cognitively functional. Now, <laughs> I'll keep this brief. There's a few things that I realized slash learned this week while making videos, and I'd say first and foremost, I will not underestimate the time it requires to film and edit a video dedicated to a certain subject, and while this is not super surprising to me, I am enjoying my increased level of appreciation and gratitude and respect uh, towards YouTubers who do this all the time and release 20 minute videos with graphics and text and animation on sometimes a weekly basis. It's nuts, it's fun, but um, <laughs> if I want to do it I need to give it space. That sort of relates to the second thing that I'm learning, which is about how I manage my time when I'm busy. And I am enjoying this opportunity. I am grateful for this opportunity this year uh, that I've given myself to really dedicate time and space to figuring out who am I when I'm not busy? Who am I when I'm busy of my own accord? and how do I deal with the tension of having a lot of things to do that I really want to do, but knowing that my energy levels will not allow me to do them. And not because my energy levels are low, they're just finite. <laughs> and I can find energy for the things that I want to do, but as a friend of mine described it to me on Friday, 
sometimes saying no to one thing is saying yes to the others. So, this week is about that. This upcoming week, I will be seeing what things I want to give my energy to and what things I don't. And I'm excited to see where that journey takes me as well. Uh, the third thing is a small thing that I've learned. <laughs> Thanks, Mom, um, for noticing this. But I forgot to change the text when I copy-pasted the title from day five to day six. So, um, yeah. Always go back and check. Uh, same thing for the bullet journal video. I was like, ah, it's fine. Jack Conte says to, uh, to to send things off before you know you think they're ready, and and that's good advice. You can never put the final finishing touch on anything because nothing's ever done, not truly, and blah 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 blah. And that was just sort of an excuse because I was tired of staring at my computer and editing this video and and all this stuff. And I was like, I just want to be done, but I made myself watch it through uninterrupted one last time and I'm glad I did that because I had forgotten to blur my address a couple times so uh yeah sometimes that last pass is important yep yeah, that's it uh have a good one